Fighting Meets Entertainment here on Punch Plan. Welcome to a new episode. KSI has addressed a fight against Jake Paul and why it may just never happen and he doesn't think it will ever happen. Negotiations falling through as he talked about it in his recent video. Proof that Jake and his team were always just playing games to string KSI and the hype along for how own fight. When it step in, he's always there, but as soon as an official fight negotiation where KSI agreed to his demands, it's radio silent. I, I know so many of you want the Jake Paul KSI fight to happen. It's been fucking five plus years. It's not gonna happen. Jake Paul doesn't want to fight me. <laughs> he's terrified of me. Simple as that. He'd much rather fight an old man. Some reactions have come out to what KSI said, saying that Jake Paul is terrified of him. He doesn't want to fight him, and the fight is probably never gonna happen. Deji, KSI's own brother, said Jake Paul waiting for JJ to hit 50 plus years old and then maybe he'll fight him. Paul Bomber responded saying, terrified is a stretch. Jake Paul's company better just responded to it with a picture of a map that says yap. And MVP updates responded to Deji saying, Jake versus Deji 2, I'm here for it. At Jake Paul, fly dude out to Puerto Rico and run an eight round fight. No headgear, 10 ounce gloves, and film it. Basically an unsanctioned fight would be entertaining as that. KSI has given his thoughts responding to the upcoming bout between Jake Paul and Mike Perry and why the fight may be a mismatch and Jake Paul could easily run through Mike Perry heading into the fight. Yes, he's fine, Mike Perry, but it's Mike Perry with boxing gloves, not bare knuckle. If it was bare knuckle, I'd be like, yeah, bless. But he's fine with boxing gloves. Also the weight, I think it's at 200. Pounds? Mike Perry has never fought at 200 pounds. Mike Perry's gonna be so slow, he's just gonna be, ah, uh, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's just gonna be another easy victory for Jake now looking at it. But look, weight in boxing is so important. Jake will probably water cut down to 200 and then be 220 by the next day. And then like fucking hell, like, I don't know. He's such a weight bully. That's just how he fights. That's how he wins fights. Misfits Boxing have announced a new signing coming to their promotion as they announced Legacy. Welcome to Misfits Boxing, Sami Hamed, who is the son of Prince Nassim Hamed. Some new fights have been announced for both Salt Poppy and Fox the G, which are not happening on Misfits. Fox the G is going to be taking on Sultan on Social Knockout 3. And Salt Pop is going to be taking on Dawood, Money, Savage on this event, the 6th of July. So pretty short notice as Tamcod said, special thanks to Mams Taylor, Misfits Boxing for their support, allowing their athletes to stay busy on my event. Huge respect, no egos. Helping build up the sport is the goal. This is huge for building the Middle East scene. With Mams Taylor responding saying, much appreciated brother, gonna be fire handshake. Jake Paul has released some new training footage as well as put out a message to his upcoming opponent, Mike Perry, who's going to be fighting on July 20th. I'm in school, Perry. Time to go back to school. Get W at Walmart. KSI has recently confirmed and talked about his next fight, which is coming up August 31st, his return to the boxing ring against Anthony Taylor and Slim in an outnumbered tag team match. Like I said, whenever I box, I have this character that just comes out. That's why I just want to be normal. <laughs> I don't care about having to try to sell tickets. I'm just gonna be me. I'm fine, August 31st, that's it. That's it, like, <laughs> I'm fine. Anthony Taylor and Slim, that's it. Like, that. <laughs> you know, it should be a good fight. <laughs> it's gonna be tough because I'm fighting two people, but I'm here for it, let's go. Like, that <laughs> There was some controversial discussion on this fight as Crossover Boxing News said KSI's opponents will be announced at the launch press conference this Monday. That of course being Slim and Anthony Taylor on the zone saying enjoy X-Series 17's launch press conference featuring main event stars KSI, Slim, and Anthony Taylor. The fighters collide in an outnumbered tag team bout live from Dublin's 3 Arena on August 31st. KSI posting 10 a.m. BST today to get tickets down below for his return fight. With the Wade concept responding to KSI announcing the tickets for this event saying, I don't mean this as a slight in the least bit, but it feels like KSI seems so disinterested in his fight. I know we're a few months away, so maybe I'm wrong. Just feels like a have to fight, not a want to. With a response to Wade saying, I mean, I ain't interested in this one, but based on what? Lol and Wade saying, posts like this really, just kind of generic ticket ads, which there's nothing wrong with, but there's no back and forth with his opponents. They haven't announced it officially either. 
I don't know, the whole vibe is off. Another comment saying, facts, very corporate, which is terrifying for influencer boxing, LMAO. Wade saying, feels like the passion is gone. I've been saying it since the prime card. I feel it too to a degree, so I don't blame him. Astrid Wet said, influencer boxing used to be fun. Dean the Great has recently addressed KSI's boxing style and why he should probably switch gyms, switch trainers to improve on his boxing ability. Me personally, KSI, it's all love on my end, bro. But if you want to get better, bro, if you're watching this, I'd, move, I'd change trainers. For example, with me, I switch trainers. Every Different trainers have different and certain styles. You dig what I'm saying? You know, it's, it, and, and, and a lot of people, they get stuck into like that. Loyalty is everything, but sometimes loyalty could be slavery when you're thinking of loyalty. Oh, I have to stay here. But like, you got to do what's best for you. And if you have to move on to pursue your career and get better, like what I did. Like, yeah, I love my old coaches. Yeah, we're still cool and shit, but I had to move on, bro. Like athletes do it. Professional fighters do it all the time. Like they move on to another trainer and they get better. You dig what I'm saying? In different styles for different fights also. You dig? So in order for him to get better, he needs to change and get and go. I'd say for him to go with Daly, to be honest. Daly or uh, mm. Leon. Even even if he trains with Leon and uh, Vidal? So other pro- Vidal, if he trains with them, I feel like they'd get him better. You dig what I'm saying? Because the karate style... I mean, it's different. It's awkward as shit, but I switch it up, bro. I, I, you know, if he wants to really improve and get to that next level, I think he need to change trainers. Shit, nigga, I'll even train you. Nigga, if it come down to it. <laughs> Danny Aarons has recently talked about fighting in the boxing ring with an imminent fight announcement he says is coming really soon. Well, I will be fighting very soon. Hmm. Depending on when this is released, it might be announced extremely soon. Right, okay. Obviously, obviously I can't reveal. Yeah, of course. But um, I, I, it will be announced extremely soon of who I'm fighting, where I'm fighting, when I'm fighting. Yeah, I think everyone knows who you fight. So I don't know. know. It might surprise you. Yeah. It might surprise you. Um, so, yeah, that, I am boxing. I do box. I punch. And I'm looking very much forward to it. Do you think I'm going to win? I don't know who you're fighting. Do you think I'm going to win? I'd like you to win, yeah. You'd like me to win. Adam Sala has just went off on Dean the Great as there have been some discussions, negotiations between them, potentially building up to a fight between them. They were originally scheduled to fight on Aiden Ross's live stream a couple months back that ended up falling through and some controversy was there between Misfits and Dean the Great. Maybe this fight will happen. Dean is a, the biggest liar. Like, this dude lies in every single saying. He, I watched one of his interviews. He's lying in everything. The first thing he lied was that I try to say, I try to say two million. Like, I try to say, I'm, I'm asking for two mil. Come on. That's su- such a lie, man. Like, that's, that's, if you believe that, then like, you're, you're just dumb. Another lie he said, he was like, uh, oh, uh, he didn't get offered Carmel to fight Carmel Moten. Carmel Moten is like a superstar pro freaking, like, he's fighting off the Floyd Mayweather gym. He did get offered to fight Carmel Moten. Tell him, ask Mams. He did get fight, uh, go offered to fight Carmel Moten, but he's lying to the people. On the Mr. channel saying, oh, no, I did it, man. Oh, he, he doesn't even fight. Oh, he's just a kid. But in reality, he's scared of Carmel Moen. He's, he's shitting bricks of Carmel Moen. Oh, also, he lied about, yo, there's so much more shit that Dean, like, li- lied about that I'm waiting till I fight him and I'm going to mention it in the press conference. You know, I, I don't want to say it now. It's actually crazy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below for a chance to be featured in our next video. Some of the top comments from our last one says, He's waiting for Mike Tyson to turn 80. Referring to Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson potentially falling through. Another one saying, ever since Woodley got knocked out, he's been glazing Jake Paul. And finally, I done nothing wrong said at this point, any of the mics can knock Jake Paul out. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.